video will cover the topic, Word Problem Involving Average Rate of Change. In this video, we will use the concept of average rate of change applied to a real situation. Here is the situation. Chris is cooking a roast. The table below gives the temperature, R of T, of the roast in degrees Celsius. At a few times, T in minutes, after he removed it from the oven. For part A, we want to find the average rate of change for the temperature from 0 minutes to 10 minutes. And for part B, find the average rate of change for the temperature from 30 minutes to 70 minutes. Recall that the formula for average rate of change is the same as the slope formula. M equals f of x2 minus f of x1 all over x2 minus x1. Or we can write it, replacing f and x for r and t like this r of t2 minus r of t1 all over t2 minus t1. Why did you write t instead of x? Isn't x always supposed to be in the function? In a graph, there always is an x-axis and a y-axis, but we can replace x with t and y with r if we want to. We just have to make sure they correspond correctly. Okay, that makes sense. So t is like x, and r of t is like y. That means that the values on this table are like points on a graph. Exactly. Now to find the two average rates of change that we were asked to find, we will substitute in the corresponding points. The first one asks for the average rate of change between 0 and 10 minutes. At t equals 0, r equals 226.6. So this is the point. 0, 226.6. At t equals 10, r equals 205.6. So this is the point. 10, 205.6. Let's substitute these two points into the formula. 205.6 minus 226.6 all over 10 minus 0. This equals negative 21 over 10. And negative 21 over 10 equals negative 2.1 degrees Celsius per minute. We say degrees Celsius per minute because it is a rate of change found by taking y over x, or r over t. r is degrees, and t is minutes. Basically, a rate of change is a speed. Can you find the second average rate of change we are asked for? I'll give it a try. It's asking for 30 minutes to 70 minutes, so the two points are 30 comma 157.6 and 70 comma 61.6. I'll substitute these into the formula written as 61.6 minus 157.6 divided by 70 minus 30. This equals negative 96 over 40. That equals negative 2.4 and it's negative 2.4 degrees Celsius per minute, right? Yes, good job. In summary, between 0 and 10 minutes, the roast cooled at an average rate of 2.1 degrees Celsius per minute. And between 30 and 70 minutes, the roast cooled at an average rate of 2.4 degrees Celsius per minute. This is one situation in which we can apply the formula of average rate of change. Okay, just to summarize, to find the average rate of change between two points, I take the difference between the y values or outputs divided by the difference between the x values or inputs. You're right. You understand this very well.